I'm Gita Begala. I'm part of the product team here at Compult. And I really want to pay homage to everyone that's presented before me because I know I'm short on time. So I'm going to start with the end, which is essentially that acquisition of Hedwig about a year ago that Commvault made and really the doors that it's opened for us. So Matt talked about new capabilities like containers and what that means for storage. Ned, I feel like you kind of did my job for me by highlighting the fact that Yes, it's great that there's new these new capabilities coming, but that doesn't mean that traditional needs for customers go away, right? And that's really what I want to build on here, that where we've acquired this great technology in Hedwig, we support containers, we're able to support these next generation workloads with that integration with GitOps and being able to really support the next generation personas, but that doesn't mean virtualization and production goes away, that doesn't mean backup goes away, Building on that, that doesn't mean that we're going to be just in the public cloud or just on-prem. And so how I'd like to introduce Hedwig is really the intelligence, the software-defined layer that can sit between any infrastructure. So that can be public, private cloud, it can be a container, it can be a VM, and it essentially abstracts all of the infrastructure from you, supports a multi-protocol interface so you can do block, file, and object, and it supports certain I'll call it special sources that allow us to integrate more tightly with things like containers and virtualization and backup. And so with setting that stage, what I want to spend the next few minutes talking about is as part of the Commvault portfolio, this is our foray into the market, combining the greatness of Hedwig with the traditional greatness and customer confidence in Commvault as a backup solution. So what we've done is we recently launched a product called Hyperscale X. We had the appliance version go live late summer, and more recently we launched a reference architecture. And what that is is essentially taking the Hedwig core capability as the storage engine under the covers and being able to provide a form factor that we're calling Hyperscale X to support a secondary use case in, in the space of backup. When we look at the core customer challenges for backup, we really narrowed in on, on three areas. The first one is around performance. So, you know, customers are still very eager to know that they can take their backups and they can restore in a predictable amount of time, not only fast, but also predictable. And that's the goodness that Hedwig brings to the table here. The fact that it's a scale out architecture means that we can scale that. So as customers are scaling capacity, they're also scaling performance. So that predictability stays intact. But the intelligence behind the software layer also means that we're able to load balance across the nodes, across the disks, really being able to get that parallel system going and firing on all the engines. So essentially what you've got is a simple model where you start out in a small form factor. So you start with a 25, capacity, 25 terabyte capacity appliance in hyperscale, which is the 2300. And then you can increment in incremental nodes, which give you that small step function, grow, and everything that happens behind the scenes in terms of performance, scalability, and even resilience comes from the core architecture that the Hedwig software defined layer provides under the covers. So rather than walking you through all the features here, what I'd really like to go do is, is move to the demo. Um, the demo is actually set up focusing on three different areas. And what that does is it talks about one, the simplicity. So anytime we think about a customer thinking about backup, it, it's, your, it's, your, it's your insurance plan. You need it to work when it's gonna work, but at the same time, you need it to be easy to install. And so with the Hyperscale X solution, there's a simple UI, there's a simple wizard, where essentially you configure in three steps, your nodes, your network, and ComServe, which is the brains behind the entire cluster for Hyperscale X. And those three steps land you straight into Command Center, which you've seen throughout all the demos that everybody shared with you here. It's our single pane of glass from Commvault to be able to do everything from setup, setting up your storage, that all happens transparently, setting up your backup plans, and then eventually backing up your applications and seeing that workflow. So I want to take you through that. The second part is going to be backing up an actual VM. And when I mentioned earlier that you know, for each different use case or workload, we recognize that there is particular integrations that are required. So in the sense of VMs, when we're backing that up, there's a VSA proxy that we depend on to really ensure that we get 
the best performance um, and the alignment between backing up VMs on Hyperscale X. So as an example, when you deploy your Hyperscale X, either in the appliance model or in a reference architecture, it comes pre-built with that VSA. So you've just got to select and off you go. Again, sort of simplifying your deployment and the aspect that you need to be able to do a full backup. And then finally, um, we're going to initiate a fault. So I've mentioned resilience being a big core capability. This is where uh, the strength of Hedwig really comes in. It's a distributed architecture. And the way we protect the data in Hyperscale X is using erasure coding. So it's EC backed. Having said that, we have the capability and the flexibility of switching, uh, switching on replication and almost flipping to a replication model when we've seen certain failure scenarios. So I want to show you that and essentially demonstrate that all of this happens in the background, but as you would expect, it's seamless from the customer's perspective. All right, so I'll switch over into the demo and we can talk through that. So any questions, folks? I know I ran through that really fast in terms of defining what Hedwig is and what Hyperscale X is. But any questions before we jump into the demo? Okay. So the first piece, as I mentioned, is really the streamline of the implementation. So when you boot up your Hyperscale X environment, it's a simple configuration. As I mentioned, this is also supported in a reference architecture when you want to go to larger scale. But you simply log in, and there are three base configuration areas. The first one is setting up the nodes. So these are the three nodes that in this cluster are going to support the Hedwig appliance. Each of these, as I mentioned, is backed by Hedwig under the cover. So that's part of the appliance. It comes as a pre-installed bundle. So we're going to set that up. We quickly move on to the network parameters that you need for your data center. So completely customer driven here. And then finally, ComServe. So we want to ensure ComServe is resilient. So we have an HA model. So we're going to deploy a primary and a standby ComServe. And again, this is the brains behind the, the command center, essentially. So it's the control plane that determines which application is being backed up by which appliance or which, which hyperscale X. So as I mentioned, a couple of steps right there. Your configuration is up and running within two to three minutes you'll be moved over to command center with the Hyperscale X configuration that you just set up. Okay, so that's gonna drop us right into command center, the familiar place uh, for Commvault customers today. And again, your single pane of glass. So no additional steps here, Quite in terms of installation, all we're going to do is go over, over to the Hyperscale X tab. We're going to create our storage pool. So the three nodes that we had added during configuration, we're going to add them into this HSX storage pool right here. As you can see, they're already recognized. So you're simply selecting the nodes that you've added and including them in this storage pool. And that's your Hyperscale X client up and running with those three nodes. So you can move straight on to creating your backup plans. So again, a couple of entries here, I'm creating a server plan that's gonna do a nightly backup at 9 p.m. So we go over to the Hyperscale X tab. So this is that storage pool that we created. And if you want to you know, dig into the details of what's the capacity behind it, what are the hardware components, all of that's available and then you can click down to any of the nodes to get further details. Again, you know, giving you the flexibility through a single plane to really see what's going on in your system. And that's it, that essentially was our setup and being able to set up our plan right there. The second part I wanna go on to was the example I gave you of being able to set up a backup policy around virtual machines. So again, a very simple workflow still through command center, you go into your protect mode, you add the hypervisor that you want to use. So add in your, your vCenter credentials. Okay. 
And in this scenario, we're adding the three proxies um, there that were the VSA proxies. So those were already shown up for you. You're simply, again, just selecting. So no additional work there required in terms of installation. We're going to add our VM group. So for this particular demonstration, it's just a set of lab VMs. So we're going to select those. And then we're going to use the backup plan that we had set there. So the server plan, this was the one that we had defined it, um, earlier in this demo. So we're going to apply that policy where we're going to take a backup at 9 p.m. every day, maintain it for a month. That's applied through that single step. We want it to be a full backup, so we just select that. And that's it. Your job is created. So that's job 139. Uh, that job will be queued up and you can go to the jobs tab and see that job um, already available and waiting for you. So that's, that's sort of the simplicity in terms of being able to do, uh, to take a backup. The third part of this is really the fault injection. So here we're going to use a file server, which we're going to on the fly create a backup job for so that we can demonstrate the failure of a node. We had three nodes you'll recollect in this particular appliance. So what we're going to do is kick off that backup job. We'll see that starting to process. OK, so there we go. It's up and running. We're now going to go over IPMI out of band and we're going to power down or create a dirty shutdown of one of the nodes. And since this is a three node cluster, essentially what will happen is we recognize that we have lost a node. We were running in EC, which means we needed the three nodes to fully protect our data. And so what we'll do is we'll flip over into a replication mode. So any subsequent writes while the node is down will be put on, on replication. That's how it will be protected. And then when the node comes back up, we'll seamlessly switch back to EC protection. So here, this is literally just shutting down the node. You'll see that the system will pause. So it will go into a pending state because the system recognized that that one node has now gone offline. The system will do its thing in the background, like I said, and you almost instantaneously get the system back up and running. So now we're protecting the data that's coming in on writes with replication. And when that node comes back, we'll simply go back and switch back to erasure coding to get you your full economics around the supportability of that. So I know that was a quick demo, folks, but what I really wanted to demonstrate there for you is it's seamless to the customer. And what we've been able to do by leveraging the portfolio here and really bringing Hedwig into the portfolio is take its core competency with all of this that it can support with its various form factors, use it as a, uh, using its NFS uh, capability and essentially provide support in the backup landscape, partnering with the core capabilities that Commvault brings with backup and DR, which has the market confidence but now bringing that scale, that portability, that performance um, and resilience to it from a different level. So I'll pause there. And again, I know that was a whirlwind um, of information, but you know, one thing I would encourage everyone here to do is there were tech field days of Hedwig prior to the acquisition that our engineering team went through and really dug deep into the core principles of how how this system can be so flexible, because I know, you know we often make the trade-offs of if I've got to do performance, I can't scale. And if I've got to scale, I compromise performance or simplicity or something else. And the team here has done a great job of really providing all of that flexibility. And what we've done here is taken part of that flexibility, packaged it up in the form of Hyperscale X and delivered a turnkey solution.